Vera Sweeney from Late in the Blog, and I'm going to a party tonight and I'm making guacamole and I figured I'd do a really quick video. Okay, so I usually go and I try to buy around six avocados and this is how, if you don't have a professional avocado tool or whatever it is that they're trying to sell you, all you do is take a knife, wrap, wrap it around the whole guac, um, I mean the avocado, and then you open it up. To get this guy out, the seed, you just hit it and twist, and then the seed comes out, and you can throw that in the garbage. Then you take a spoon, get everything out. You're gonna get messy, just accept it. And repeat. Throw it all in a bowl, and I take a potato masher, and I just mash it down. I personally add Tomatoes just adds another layer of flavor. Not many people add tomatoes, but I do. And I take these little cherry tomatoes and I cut them up four times and I do maybe eight or nine. I like to zest. I have a big zester and I'm a huge zester fan. So um, I go for the yellow onion. You can use any onion that you have, but I just always like to buy the yellow. I like to add onion, garlic, salt, lemon, and cilantro and actually, when you use a zester, whatever you're zesting, in this case the onion, it almost melts into the actual dish. So no one's gonna have that huge chunk of unexpected onion and they're gonna be upset about it. It's, it's kind of just blended in, really nice and easy. Same thing with the garlic. I'll use one or two cloves, depending on how many avocados I have. Same thing, you just zest it right in. And actually, I'm gonna put one and then I'm gonna taste it. And if I need another one at the end, I'll add it once I'm all set. A little bit of salt, kosher, sea salt. Mix. And then a little squeeze of lemon. Take the seeds out before you actually squeeze. Because you don't need anybody biting into that. And just about a quarter. And a, a, not even a quarter of a lemon, because I'm not even squeezing all of the lemon juice out. I just gave it maybe, I would say a tablespoon. Just do a tablespoon of, le of lemon. Let me taste it. I think it's so good, it doesn't even need the extra garlic. You should always serve it in something fun and festive. So I thought the green would really kick off the red plate. Make sure you get everything. You're gonna top with a little cilantro. Cut up the cilantro. Sprinkle it on top, and voila. You have some good guacamole. If you wanna be really cute, put some tomato. That's it. I hope you will try my guacamole. It took me all but four minutes, and I'm telling you, it tastes so good. You don't have to do the second garlic if you don't want to. I would be really careful with it because um, once you put too much seasoning, it sort of kills the taste and, and guacamole is good as is. So until next time.